Most people don't realize that Michigan has one-fifth of the world's fresh water. You know, it also uh, is 90% of the potable water in the United States that people use. It's a big responsibility. And we need to keep not only just the ecosystem solid and alive, but clean and um, not let it be taken to other parts of the world. There are other uh, freshwater aquifers that serve those other parts. This is a part that serves this part of the world. Um, I feel really strongly about that, actually, in my work. Um, there's a lot of consternation about the corporations that are taking large amounts of water to bottle it up and sell it privately uh, in the United States, out west, and all around the world. Um, I know that that's depleting the aquifer up in the center of the state. That's a, a deep well source, but there are a lot of sources that people don't realize that are all along the lake front that go into Lake Michigan that if there's ever comes a time when they need to decide who owns the water here over selling it to other places, the source is going to be what is going to dictate who owns Lake Michigan. So one of the things that I knew in my travels also was that the wells that were in the Benton Harbor area supply one-third of Lake Michigan's water. So that's one-fifteenth of the world's fresh water. And currently, a gallon of water is worth 10 times a gallon of gas. Well, um, one of the springs that comes up is the old House of David. And it goes, it travels from House of David through Benton Harbor residential area, down the old Whirlpool Corporation land, out through Gene Clock Park into the lake. So when I first heard about the uh, sales and different things that were going on with Gene Clock Park, the leasing for the golf course, I was thinking, because I had traveled around so much out west, and who owned the sources for the water was such a big component of the legality about who owned the water, I was thinking about the House of David as a big source for Lake Michigan water. As things get tighter, uh, most people have read Water Wars and Blue Gold, um, and we know that our water is getting polluted. It's going to be more and more of a resource that people um, need. You have to have water. Agriculture has to have water. Um, and so it's an important thing. And part of my concern also is that a lot of the sources for this particular aquifer and other places around the world are the same oil companies that right now are dictating those type of things. I don't know how to get a segue into that. Part of my concern is that the oil companies are the companies that are really interested in mining water for private sale and use. Um, they have the equipment, sure, you know, they're the people that do the drilling for the deep water aquifers. Um, I would like to see it kept in public hands, though, and shared with people not for profit. Can I say that? Because I think that's pretty important. Um, yeah, um, one of my concerns with Public Act Number 4 was that if you laid a map of the towns that were being considered for going into Emergency Financial Manager Act were also the same places that were the sources for Lake Michigan uh, Basin.